right, so once again, I've completely run myself out of time. Every machine in the shop is on because I've got all this last minute panic work. I'm trying to get this into the chassis and get out on the salt. Uh, I've got today to do it along with like a full 12 hour day of other work. You know, no biggie. We got it. Got it covered. Uh, so, the engine runs okay. Baseline is okay. Uh, I've been struggling with jetting. Finally getting there. Um, I've got my EGT, which is normally on the dyno, I put on the road race bike. And I don't want to pull it off. So we're running it without EGT. So I'm not doing long sustained pulls anyway. I want to get the tuning as close as I'm going to get it. And then we're going racing and we're just going to have to do the final tuning out on the salt. The great white dyno as it's referred to. So anyway, I broke, I had a the ceramic on uh, a spark plug come apart. So I got to put another one on. I raised the needles one notch because it's still a little flat. We're going to see where we are. I may have gone in the wrong, wrong direction. Uh, let me put a spark plug in it and let's fire this up and just see where we are. Okay, hold on. Alright, so I went from 50s to 40s on the Pilot. Uh, I think that the last engine had such big ports and made such great power, not usable power, but great power, uh, that it used more fuel. So, same alcohol carburetors, so I'm having to readjust to the new engine. That should be uh, lower volume, higher velocity. So, uh, I... Uh, the needle adjustment seemed to make a little improvement. I think I'm way too fat on the bottom, and then I seem to be okay on the mains, although I'm not positive yet because it's not running crisp enough up there to find out yet. But let's see where we are on this guy. Earplugs. That hurts too much. What did I do with them? I think they're right here in my pocket. Right where they should be in my ears instead of, uh, you know, I'm going to be a deaf old man. Deafer, I think, would be the, the key. So, way better. So, definitely uh, too rich on the bottom end. Um, it's still got that little flat spot, that little uh, off of idle ba-boom and then picks up. So, maybe let's try going a touch leaner on the bottom and let's see what she does. Okay, bye. 